Hello everyone, a short tutorial how I fixed, patched a hole of uh, these socks. So hopefully you can see how big it is and I managed to do it uh, this way. You wanted to me to record a video my way of thinking, so I'll just took something, start thinking how to fix it. And that's how I did it. Let me know how would you fix it, because there could be a better way. Otherwise, enjoy watching the next one. And here is how it looks patch up. This is what I did. So if you're interested, keep on watching. It's for intermediate knitters. Um, the yarn is not the lightest. The light is not the best. But I hope you will under understand my way of thinking and will help you to fix anything you want. So, my friend came in over to me and she brought these socks, they're from shop. The feeling of it is that it's wool and I was trying to find something similar that I could use and put over here. Remember, these are socks and good thing to have some nylon in them. So I found this little piece, I know it's a grey... <clears throat> I know it's a grey colour and I'll try to do close-ups and stuff so hopefully you'll be able to see. But you may notice that this is more... A, there's darker than this one. Let me show you close up. There are two plies or maybe more plies, I think, but they have some but they have some brownish color as you can see, so it won't be uh, perfect, but it will be nice match. And I found it from my leftovers. This is uh, one of the patterns Croy socks, but this is not fingering. This is sport weight yarn, so slightly thicker because I had to I had to exam these and Oh, if I had, and um, they're thicker than fingering weight yarn, I would say. So I'm hoping this will work. Therefore, my needle of choice is 2.5 millimeters, which I presume is US size 1.2. That's normally what I would use when I use sport weight yarn, I think, for those two. Or might be slightly bigger, maybe a size 2, 2.75 sometimes, it depends. But um, I'm going to go with US size 1.5, so 2.5, because it'd be easier for me to pick up stitches and everything like that. Um, so we shall see how that goes. So you know what kind of yarn I'm going to use, what kind of needles. And now let's exam uh, the toe. And we have one over here that's not broken. Um, we have one over here that it's, uh, that everything is fine with it and we may notice, hopefully you can see it, uh, what I'm looking at now, I'm looking at the columns, I know they're slightly felted because that's what happens with the wool and the socks, so you have to literally see it, I know, sorry for the grey and darker colour, I don't have a light over here and hopefully it will be good anyway. So as you can see those V's are going up and eventually they kind of disappear in a void <laughs> but if you start finding maybe the right leg of a stitch over here and then pulling whatever is over here yes eventually you will get quite a nice stitch so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to see and check the lowest one that it's ripped. So this one is ripped, this one is ripped, but below is this one. And I'm trying, and my idea will be to see if I can catch the same row, just to hold them in place and to do the same thing uh, on the top. Okay? Probably want to see it too, yeah. <laughs>
as you can see I went too far so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this little needle and I'm going to lift this put it on the needle and fix it but how do I know that I went too far if I pull this you can see, I can feel or see even see that this is continuity continuity of the yarn but going on my stitch on my knitting needle so this is this level so this level should be next over here but it's dropped so what I'm going to do I'm just going to put it on the left and then use my pink one on the right to move the stitch over this strand of yarn and then I'm just slipping it on the pink needle so I know it's the same level now So as you have seen, I've were I was pulling these strands, and now should I pull or not? I stopped because I'm trying to look at the the yarn going on the needle down below, and if I pull it gently, you see this kind of wants to hide. So I think this is the same level. So this is the stitch that it's on the same level as the other one, the same row, right or round. So we have four. And then do we have anything more over here? What do you think? Yes. See this? This is barely holding, so let's not chance it. Same story, looking at the stitch, continuity, and if I start, maybe even let's, you can secure it and then try to maybe pull on that stitch and if you feel the tension that this is created, you can't pull this, you know it's the same level. So I'm putting it back on. So I think that's that. There are a few strands over here, no worries. They don't look bad. I may reuse them to put the stitches up and then just build them up, I think. When I pull it, it looks quite solid, so I think we will do that in a sec. Well, let's examine the other side, and I can see that we will need to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so let's do that too. Okay, okay, so I dropped it to this level and I have to put it back. So I'm going to put the stitches in like this first because I don't want to make a mistake. And now pull this one off. As you can see, as you can see, the size is quite good. That I think that's three millimeters. Um, mm -mm, I don't have any three millimeters here, do I? But I can use. I think it's actually the same size. You know what? It doesn't really matter that much. So I'm going to do. I'm going to pull it, and as I can see, one is lower, one is higher. So I'm using the higher one, and I'm going just to knit it. Okay, quite loose. I'm continental style, so I'm using my left hand. And I'm on the last one. Lovely, and I'm going to put it back, slide back the stitches on the left. 
And as you can see, that gives me quite a good tension because I don't have any left over of that extra yarn. Sometimes if you use a smaller knitting needles and the tension is tighter, you will have a bit of a, a loop staying from this yarn. Um, how to fix it, you can gently just lift up the stitches. That's that, but as you can see, that's quite good. I have another one over here that looks quite decent. A little bit of fluff here and there, so you can clean that up. And let's do that too. Lovely, and I'm just going to put it back on hold. So we have five stitches, no, six stitches. So let's exam. So let's exam the upper part. And to do it, what I would recommend is just to twist the yarn because then you will have these. Obviously, there will be slightly different shifted position. If you're a beginner, don't think too much about it. But if you're switching up all the way around, you can still see these. So we will try to see how many V's over here we have and we'll try to play with this this kind of double pointed, this is a cable needle, but you can have any needle to play with. Now what I'm thinking, I'm looking at these and I'm just trying to see if we continue over here. This looks quite okay. But here, this yarn will just disappear in a sec. Uh -huh. Let me think. Okay, I'm thinking too far off. So at the moment, I'm going just to pull out the stitches to the lowest one that I can see. And the lowest one I can see is this one, right? So, and let's grab it, hopefully you've seen it, and then, where's my knitting needles, okay, doesn't really matter, can use this pointy thing, um, yep, yeah, and I will be going uh, this way, I think this one is the same level. Putting it on. The same level, putting it on. And this is, I think, the full column. Barely holding, I would say, but we will leave it the way it is. And let's do the other side. It's better with the knitting needles. If you have double points also, it's cool. Just pulling, cleaning the strands. And now, yeah. Looking, looking at the yarn, following it, and seeing the same level. What about this one? Yeah, the same story. So to take it off, I'm just, if you see the V, between those two Vs, there is a ladder, we call it a ladder, a strand, I'm just pulling it up, and that way the stitch comes off. Just in case you, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, as you can see, I pulled the one that, oopsie daisy, it's over here. So you know what we'll do, just catch the loop, put the, yarn that I pulled and I shouldn't and just put the stitch over the yarn so create that stitch back and put it on the right knitting needle. We have five. We had six over here so 
That way I can analyze our data on the opposite side. So I presume we should have another one. No, no, I don't think so. I don't know we have. It's just like I said, it's on the opposite. So let me explain this situation in the paper. If you look at the stitches, they're like these. Lovely. But we have decided to move it all the way around. I don't have anything in color, but then those V stitches are now A's, right? But then we see V's over here. Between them, right? So here, 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 here. So as you can see, if we had to count, so one, two, three, four, five, we have five this way, but here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six way. So hopefully this example helps you a little bit to understand the knitting fabric, or at least explain how I think. So what next do, can I do? Can I actually lift it up? Because even though there are strands, sometimes they're not exactly there and it could be another layer over here that it was just broken and then we have so basically we skipped one level and we have the other two levels that we can knit so I need to just double check if it's that's the situation exam it that's as close as we can get so as I told you the yarn goes on the needle and then go somewhere on the side, right? That's why all that yarn on this knitting needles is exactly the same. So if it's like pulling one, the other one will start disappearing if I let it go or won't give me, I won't budge, let's say that way. So let's move it slightly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this gently and see which next stitch, V stitch I'm moving and I'm moving this one, okay? So, if I'm moving this one, this is already taken, so we can actually even put it on the knitting needle, right? And then the next one, if I move this now yarn, is just above it, and it's going through the stitch now we put, so it's over level, so over, uh, round over, or row over, depends how you want to see it. So that's correct. And now check this side, so the same story. I will start pulling the yarn. So um, this is, and this stitch is the one that I will be pulling. And as you can see, if I'm, you may not see over here because this is the broken yarn just above it and it's kind of got a very fluffy. So let's just stretch it a little bit. Um, so if I start moving, oh yeah, you could see that. You could see that this yarn goes through the stitch, so it's perfect. So what I can do, uh, we can actually knit it through. So we just lifted the first one, so I'm not knitting through it. I'm knitting through the second, third, fourth, fifth, and over here, sixth. And this one was also the one that I just picked, do you remember, right? So let's slide back. Kind of feels solid. The strand, so I'm leaving it. Do we have anything else? There's one over here. And I just need to see, is it the one? So it's thinner and I'm just, Oh yeah, it just broke. <laughs> so there is no issue, I don't have to, but I think it was the other one that I could actually use over. We have a wool over here, that's why when you kind of move it slightly. So all that stuff is definitely not the way to go. And I have two holding stitches and my... So the only worry I have, because see, this is normally what we would do with the yarn like this, we would need to wave it in ends. Um, and the same story over here. So what I'm going to make, I'm going to make a bigger patch. So um, that's my idea. What do I mean by that, right? We can do it, we can fix it in many ways, I think. 
but the one that I'm thinking now is to match the number of stitches on one knitting needle to, to another one. So, you know, we lifted two over here, so I'm going just to do drop one, and I think I'm going to drop this one. Lovely. So we have six over here and six over here, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to knit a bit of um, rectangle square over here with the yarn that I have and I'm going to do the Kitchener stitch to join them together. Obviously there will be a gap on one side and another side and my idea okay, other side but we'll get to it but then what I'm going to do I'm going to put it on the wrong side and I'm just going to patch it and connect it on the sides over here and hopefully everything and hopefully everything will be holding right. What I can do, and I'm thinking of doing the same thing, but I'm going to maybe take another two stitches over here and two stitches over here just to have it over. So when I'm patching it, I'm not patching the edges, I'm patching actually an extra bit side. Um, And I just picked two extra next to it. Lovely. Let's take the yarn. Hello, I'm back. I we have a yarn that I'm going to use, slightly darker than original. But like I said, I'm going to start knitting over here, and I think I will be picking up the here left and here right leg of the stitch. So then it will be connect it straight away and finish with Kitchener stitch. So let's do this. Well, as you can see, I did just did reverse knitting or some would say knit stitch for left-hand knitters. Uh, but the way I was wrapping the yarn, it twisted my stitches on the knitting needle, so I'm going to knit through the back loop now and maybe I'll refresh and remind maybe a different direction will give me uh, a different position of the stitches. But, you know, turn around, do pearls, fine. What I'm thinking now, I'm going to hide the end over here and then I will see if I can pick up just an idea to pick up leg and knit two together like this. So hopefully that will join the side. And now I will slip grab the um, right leg over here, put it back and knit two together through the back loop. So SSK isn't it? Some people would say if that was the thing. So I'm going to just purl or reverse knitting and then when I'm doing the back I will be just picking it up so I'll see you there. Well, I'm not there yet, but just to tell you, because you may want to know, I'll just stretch what I have and I'll see how this acts when I'm picking up, lifting up the right leg of the stitch next to it. So if I take it together and I see a bulk, I'll try to go higher than that. Is it leveled and stuff? I don't have a clue, but that's what the beauty is about patching things that they're, you know, here and there and around there. <laughs> so, yeah. Just want, I just wanted to mention that. I think I'm ready to patch things up. I'm reaching the area that I can, that I can stretch both. But you remember that I took some stitches over here and I took some stitches over here and the middle ones are actually, should be connected with this. And my idea to connect it will be through Kitchener stitch. For that I need a tapestry needle. So. I'm not sure I'll be able to show you, but I will. We have six stitches over here, 
two on the sides when I eliminate them we have six in the middle so these I will be joining together kitchen stitch how to do that I'll show you over here with the two first stitches I will be trying to get them through these over here with a just grabbing a fabric go with kitchener stitch and then grabbing the fabric and just putting the yarn on the wrong side so we shall see how it actually turns out so now even better I'm going to lift two legs over here off this fabric so I can go straight away cut to kitchener stitch and maybe at the end I will lift more and then won't have to bother too much how to explain things uh, so yeah so I'm going to grab let's turn the work around by the way you will know what it is what and you can lift something yourself and it's quite hard to know which one to lift so I'll be just improvising lifting something that feels solid if you know what I mean. Hopefully I linked below how to do a kitchen stitch so this will be a quick one. However I have to switch because you know I was doing reverse knitting so to make the proper direction of the stitches I need to flip them through. <sighs> now is there anything else? I, I don't think so. <laughs> so let's do it. Maybe I won't need to do it so drastically. Just oops. Go through the loop, go through the right leg of the stitch, go through this one one more time, and maybe finish at the same spot. So here, here it is. I don't know, is it good or bad? Let me know what you think about it. Lovely, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to the wrong side. Now we are on the wrong side, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just um, secure this yarn a little bit, that it's, that it was broken, as you can see those slips and I don't want that to unravel anymore so basically I'm just putting it down and what I'm trying to do I will be just lifting a pearl bump going through it and going around so again pearl bump going under and then maybe another problem on the other side, like this. So basically I'm not poking, so hopefully that's not going to be seen on the right side. I'm just moving those little bits over the needle, basically. Sorry for the yarn, but that's kind of sucks that I'm fixing. I know also the light is not the greatest so hopefully you're like intermediate knitter and you understand what I'm doing and it's just an idea how to do it to check that out how much fluff we have here uh, yeah and I'll just basically go up and down in the omega shape and then I'll go up here that also should straighten the connection between old and new. That's my hope anyway. Okay, more fluff. Um, and now we have these. So maybe they will go. And what I'm looking again, I know it's slightly felted, but I'm looking for the pearl. I'm going under, but not under, under completely, just those these things, finding another pearl on the other side, don't really focus too much which one is it, and just basically slightly pull, not too much even, because that way it would create a tension or bring the fabric together, and I don't think we want that. 
just gentle. Lovely. As you can see, the yarn felts nicely, so I presume this will be felted in a while. Hopefully it is not so... Hopefully it is not so... Hopefully someone's feet are not so sensitive, because you could feel there is a connection going on over here. Not much, but still. So now just wave and ends, and that's that. Okay, so this is the wrong side. And here is the right side. So, as I said, the heel is not... Um, the one that I like to make, but what do you think? Things, it feels quite good. Slightly over here, connection, but we have to keep all those ends. There's no way, there's no other way you can uh, do it, I think, unless you know, let me know, because we have those little bits left from the original yarn, and I try to make it a hole with a new one, so not to create an extra bulk but we had to secure it somehow, and that was that's my idea, how to secure. So, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Bye.